Hello friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. So today we are gonna put together a gift basket. So I have a gift exchange that I have to go to and the price limit is $15. It's really hard to find a nice gift for $15. So we're gonna put together a really nice basket for $15. And you know, the other thing is you may have lots of people that you want to give gift baskets to or you wanna give a gift to. And I tell you what, you spend $20, you go out and spend $20 on a gift. It's hard to get a really nice gift for $20, but you go out, you spend $20 on a gift for 10 people, that's $200, right? Well, I'm going to show you why I go to Dollar Tree, I look for name brand stuff, I put it to the side, and then when the time comes that I need a gift basket, I'm able to put stuff together. And, you know, additionally, you know, I like to do the same thing because I like to keep stashes of stuff to be able to give to like kids going back to school and stuff like that. And it allows me to have nice things for them on my budget because, you know, I, I wish that I had millions of dollars to give to people and spend on people because if I had it, I would, but I don't. So I do with what I have. So I'm going to make a, a gift basket here and we're going to include everything. So here's my basket. So this is $1 and I've got my, my fluff. So this is $2 and we want to make this super fluffy. So we're at $2 right now. So again, one of those things that I was in the Dollar Tree and I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, this is a great purchase and I'm going to save it. So this is good hair for all and this is from the dry bar. So it's the dry bars guide to good hair for all. And this is a really good book. I've already given a couple of these out and this book retails for like 30 bucks. So that is a good base for us to start our little gift basket. So we're going to put that in there. Now I've got this, I showed this in my last Dollar Tree haul. So this is at Dollar Tree right now. So I've got Clean Slate dry shampoo and she is a brunette. So I'm gonna put in some of the brunette dry shampoo and I'll put those in here. And then keeping with our hair theme. So now we're one, two, three, four, we're at $5. So if I wanted to, if I were given a bunch of gifts, I could use a smaller basket and just leave it at this and leave it at $5, you know? So <clears throat> I've got these, these are currently at Dollar Tree also, and these are L'Oreal hair masks. So you notice everything that we've got in here is a name brand product that normally would be so much more money. All right, so we're at $7. And we're gonna make this a hair and foot basket. So I've got this um, MOP foot mask. I'm going to stick that kind of down in there. So we're at $8. And I got this little guy here. I didn't get it at the Dollar Tree. However, after Christmas last year, I got it on clearance for 59 cents. So, but we're going to call it a dollar just to make it easy. So we're at nine dollars i've got this little it's a bath bomb i use them as foot fizzers i don't use bath bombs it's not good for your female health just so you know 
So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're at ten dollars, and I've got some nail polish I'm going to put in there. We're at eleven dollars. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Maybe we'll put another nail polish in there. Put this this way, and then kind of put that in there like that. So we're at $12. So we may actually stay under. Maybe we'll just stay under our, our limit. Or uh, maybe I'll go, let me go grab some candy to throw in here just to make it a little fun. So we're going to add a little candy in there just to make it fun. And then also... We can call it $15 because this was a dollar at the Dollar Tree, even though we're not going to use this whole thing. I'm actually going to put the bot on the bottom. I'm going to put a little bit of paper because I want to lift it all up a little bit. So we'll pull this stuff out for a second. We know what we want in there now, and we'll call this a, along with our shrink wrap that we're gonna use. This will be, we'll call this $15. So I'm gonna just put a little paper in the bottom of my basket. And that will help lift it up. And if you need to, and it's a good idea, especially like if you want to share um, this stuff amongst baskets, just stick some paper in the bottom. So we'll let this guy go in. And then we'll do these guys like this. These guys kind of behind it like this. And our little foot mask down in there. So then we got these. Like this. And sometimes baskets are really just about, you know, sometimes you just gotta play around with it, you know? And then we'll put little polishes in. We'll put this guy, this guy, and then put this guy up front, and right down and over. And you know, sometimes like I like to not necessarily be able to see everything right away in a basket because the fun of like finding other treasures, you know? So we've got this nice basket and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, no, 14, all right. And that's even counting some stuff that wasn't really fully a dollar as a dollar. All right, so now we have our shrink wrap. Now, when I put the shrink wrap on, I'm going to, I'm using my heat gun, you can use a blow dryer. And I'm gonna do this on fast mode so that A, you don't have to hear the dryer going and B, you know, it takes a couple minutes, okay? But your shrink wrap, so you're gonna open up your shrink wrap.
Now, the other thing is, if you're doing homemade gifts or you're making things to sell, um, I love this shrink wrap. So I will, a lot of times, anything that's excess on the top, before I shrink it, I cut it off. Um, this one's not really going to have any excess. Um, but also, I buy these, and you can cut this in pieces, put it around something that, like, like you've made that you want to give to someone and you don't want it to, like, come up, up you know, undone or whatever. And you can actually shrink it. And you can cut these in pieces if you need to. So just a, just a quick little tip there. All right, so I'm going to take my bow. I'm going to turn it this way, sorry, so that I, because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. And this comes with the bow. And I put my bow on, and I like to wrap this around a couple times and make it nice and tight. Tie it in the back, and in the end, I'll cut off anything that's excess. All right, so we're going to go to fast mode, and I am going to shrink wrap my basket. All right. All right, friends, so here is my basket. Now, I do sometimes, because I like, when I shrink wrap, I like to shrink wrap really tight. So I occasionally will get like these little poles in here and I, they haven't caused me any issue. If you don't want that, then just don't shrink wrap as tight. But sometimes that will happen, but I like mine shr to shrink wrap mine really, really tight. But, so here we go. Now on a $15 budget, we have this really, really nice gift. And it doesn't look like it was $15. So it's a su super fun present and I love doing these. So I do have some more gift baskets I'll be doing as we go along. And you know, some of them will be a mix of things that I found at the Dollar Tree mixed with um, non-Dollar Tree stuff, you know, just depending on who they're going to. But like I found these super cool um, wine books that like tell you all about like the wineries and stuff. So I'll be doing those with some etched wine glasses and a bottle of wine for some friends. And, you know, I just want to show you, you know, sometimes it's worth, you know, going. I don't, I don't always find great stuff when I go to the Dollar Tree. And it's, you know, why I'm not one of those people that give you a Dollar Tree haul every day you know, every week or whatever, because I only go for certain things. I, I like to find certain craft supplies and some name brand products. So, but I do stop in when I find things that are, are nice, especially books. Their book collection is like superb. And I will put them aside and have things prepared for basket making. And to be perfectly honest, all that I spent recently in this basket would be $6. The other stuff is stuff that I had in my stash. So, all right. Hey, listen, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. And I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. Happy crafting and happy holiday shopping. See you later. Bye.